now we're on the way to Terry Spencer Gym to spar with my mate Edo. I um, grew up with Edo and I manage Edo as well. He's the only fighter that I manage, so it's um, it's good to be on, on someone else's journey as well. Obviously, it's can't can't take home time. Not a sole manager. I would call myself more of an advisor. Um, Player manager's role, well, like, but it's good. Um, yeah, I can see why managers do it. I used to think, why managers in boxing? What did they get out of it? Just doing a lot of work for someone else, for someone else's business, ultimately. And um, and then when I done that, I started feeling it all. I realised what training for to rush, you know. Now you make like, I mean, it's so much like a deal, but you come to an agreement and you can give that good news. You can make that call. It's nice, you know. So yeah, it was nice, and um, he was looking for a day for, for a while. Things slowed down over Christmas, then he, was, he had a fight in December. The fight got called off, unfortunately, he was looking for something else, and um, he started to think outside the box. And um, I had a few contacts um, in America, so yeah, so um, we made a fight in America. He was going to Georgia, Atlanta. Unfortunately, I'm going to be in town myself, so I won't be able to be there, but we will be there with the team, and he, he didn't go down, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seen him have his American debut. I never had it. I never fought in America. I've trained in America. I used to box out, out of the fifth gym in America in Miami, but I never boxed and went to fight in the Dominican Republic when I was in America. So I've never even boxed in America. So it's it's something that like every fighter will wanna will want to happen. And every British fighter really to fight it's happening in the career. So it's, it's amazing for him, you know. We're gonna go to the gym now and do some sparring and then um, I'll probably do another session later on tonight. I'll do a run because I'm not I'm not in like strict routine because of my camp. I want to do a run tonight. What I normally do is a um, couple of coffee shop. Sometimes I get the bus. No, you can't be bollocks and you can't. You don't really want to. Sometimes I'll get on a bus, just go to wherever the bus stops. I get a random bus. I play this game where whatever whatever bus it is, I get on it. Unless it's going over the water <laughs> to the tunnel because you can't run through the tunnel, obviously. I get on the bus and um, just get off the bus and the last stop and then run back. Like an air roulette. It could be five miles, could be 13 <laughs> miles. So, one time I was running across the motorway because it, it was the only way I knew back. It was out of Liverpool. And um, twice this has happened to me. And um, <laughs> the police pulled up and said, uh, Get in the car. I said, No, fuck off, I'm not getting in the car. I'll, I'll run in the field over there. And he said, You fucking can't run on the motorway. Get in the car, you're lucky you're not know, getting get arrested. So I, um, I had to get in the car, sweating in the back of the car. He thought it was a lunatic. He was, wouldn't he, really? So he started running down the mot motorway. And um, he let me out in Liverpool. I look like an, um, <laughs> what we call a snitch. A glass getting out of the car, getting out of the car, and my head down. And then carried on the next five miles. Well, yeah, that's what I do sometimes. You no, know what? One time I was in my bed. I was running down the motorway and a wide load came past me and the wide load was a big concrete bollard but it was coming over the top and it come over my head if it was any lower it just took my head off <laughs> that was a close one that was a close one here we are today T Teddy Spencer Boxing Academy you're going to spar with Ed on me about a weekly war. Yeah, when I'm in uh, Liverpool, not an island coming in, this is where the same really most of the time when I'm in Liverpool, my mate heads up. Forty minutes late, it'll only be episode one as well. I was only forty minutes late today, but I don't spend pulled off on yet. He left in the late shoulder. I'm going to say today. Comes up in my day. So again. Five weeks, four weeks of training, three and a half weeks of training. Three, four weeks of training left me to come to America. Georgia, Atlanta, losing my American debut. 
Yeah. Say, I heard, I heard you were going for a jolly in Miami. Oh, that is serious, <laughs> Miami and 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 Just chat a TV, is it? First episode. I've got the lingo now, everybody. Hey guys, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Oh, you so don't want to be subscribed. Leave a comment in the subscription box. Donation to the main man as well. Every donation helps the ring world media. Hey. You like that one, John? I've got to stop him saying like and subscribe. It's not happening. Stop it! You don't want any comments, trust me. I started YouTuber about three years ago. And uh, me, me bears and me dad, uh, everyone around me, even me kids were laughing at me and they said, what are you doing? You're a grown man on YouTube, swear it. And uh, I said, watch, in the future, everyone will be doing it. And uh, now they are, are So why we're doing this now is because you probably, probably have to, I think, the next generation now. Unless you want to get left behind, you have to. I, I grew up in an era where you have to go to, to Boxer England, save your time as an amateur boxer, win ABA titles. I think Great Britain, I used to spend every weekend away on Great Britain teams, you know. But now, I know people who just go on YouTube, funny as fuck, and they get big contacts, you know, because people want to see them, and that's just the way it is, so. So, do I want to be on YouTube now? Do a fuck, but I've got it because of, cause of all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like and subscribe and leave a comment. No! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> It's a lot better than knitting bags, though. You can turn up your knitting bags, though, you can, you can batter me instead. <laughs> like, you can work on your defence and all sorts, you know. And it's bad, it's a bit more dealer. I don't, I don't think you should spar every day, but it's hard not to win yeah. when it's just better, you know what I mean? Yeah. After you like playing football, do you want to practice um, three kicks or penalties every day, or do you want to? Pass the ball back and forth, or do you want to have a game, a match game every day? You take the match with you all the time, but you've also got to work on stuff. But I like to spar more. I, I find you get more stuff done in real time, you know, when you spar, you work on it in real time, stuff like that. I'm not too much for technical sparring, it becomes a little bit slow and a bit, you can be faking it really, but. Yeah, you can work on concussion recovery as well, can't you? Yeah? Well, you can. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm lying in bed with the night, I'm fresh, which is amazing. So we're doing another 10 to Mario on site. I'm like, yeah, Sam, he's fresh and good. Me and Edward Spadman, years ago when we both amateurs, we boxed at the same club, the Golden Gloves. And never with me, right? And everything. Something different happens every time you get, you get wobbled or gone or flashed. Something different. People have different stories every time, it's never the same. And everything went green. It was like I was in a dream. I was having deja vu at the same time and everything was green. Even he was green, it was mad. It was like, like the old was trying to get me. But there was blue flags on the wall. Remember the Cuban flag, USA flag? But they were all green. Everything was just a weird shade of green. Freaky, freaky situation. <laughs> Love a good story like that. <laughs> so
I've got a strategy this week. Good that? Yeah. Give me that round. Give me that round, guys. Yeah. One more. Look at that, having some fuel. Tomorrow. Say there's no tomorrow. 
No rematches tomorrow. Back in the ring, Jazz. He's bought me a six rounds. Tommy, it's a 12 round. He's just done a Eubank on you, 50% mate. No, no you wrapped me up on the scorecard. Ignore him, he's got a big fortune. At the time of the stoppage. Is that before or after you were in the air? Feeling a bit sore now, Edo. You'll see the real Your span. backside's a bit sore. <laughs> You're going to see the real spar next week. Oh, next week. That was just the text bar that Jazz, wasn't it? Just a little text bar. Six rounds. Half a fight. Half a fight. Half a fight. Half a fight. Half a so, so, so we have confirmed, boys, that was a knockdown from a right up. I still can't. What's a knockdown between friends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, here. Come on, here. Let's just leave me like that next week. I'll see if I can get the knockdown again. Is that in a 12 rounder next 12 week? 12 round next week. Oh, yeah. 15. To make it even more, more yeah, hard. Just delete it. Oh, no, that's going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seen on that when I come back and Jazz says that's enough. Well, I've got to listen to you all the time. Look at him, mate, you're not worthy. <laughs> so, which area are we in? Where, where are we at now? Is this sort of somewhere that you. We're driving through Old Swan. Okay. I'm not from up here, I'm from the city centre. The city centre, if you're from the city centre, are you from the centre? The city centre? No, not Liverpool, no. <laughs> oh, aren't you from Liverpool? <laughs> no, if, if you're from the city centre, you don't um, have to go out, do you? Growing up, you never got to leave the city centre if you're from the city centre. So, I guess not. Most people from where I'm from, we don't even know how we're around Liverpool because there was never any need to leave the centre. <laughs> 